Hi there everybody and it is day number 16 of my Corona diary. Is it really? Gosh, it's over two weeks have gone by and what are two weeks? So much has changed for all of us. Well, I've spent most of my day today uh, doing my editor-in-chief job. Um, pulling a lot of uh, articles out from the magazine that are now outdated because it's such a fast-changing situation. We're not like a fashion magazine or a food magazine. We're a community magazine giving people advice on all sorts of things in daily life and uh, a lot of the things that we were there for printing are no longer valid. Anyway, I did an article today um, about coronavirus scams, people all in different ways trying to get money off you, uh, pretending they're somebody that they're not. So I thought it would be helpful to all of you if I just shared some of that information with you now. So just reading here from my own uh, pages, here are some of the scams that we've become aware of. Please note that these Criminals can come in all shapes and sizes and contact you at your door by phone, post or online. Be aware of people offering miracle cures or vaccines for the coronavirus. There's no specific treatment yet known for coronavirus, COVID-19. Treatment aims to relieve the symptoms until you recover. Another scam that's going on is people impersonating being healthcare workers claiming to be offering home testing for coronavirus. Well, I've got a bit of a dry cough today. I've got my headache back and I'd love to go and get tested for my own sake and the sake of the people in this house with me. But if you're in the UK, if you're royalty, you can go and get yourself a test straight off whether you feel ill or not. If you're a member of parliament, you can go and get yourself a test whether you feel ill or not. But if you're an ordinary kind of person, then unless you're actually being rolled on a stretcher through the hospital doors because you're so ill, you aren't going to get your hands on a test. It's a terrible shame because I hear people in France who I know, they just got to pop down to the local chemist and get tested. People in Czechoslovakia. Easy to get tested whether you feel ill or not, but here in the UK, forget it. So if anyone comes to your door saying they've got tests and trying to sell them to you, they're dodgy tests. If they come to your door trying to sell you some sort of pills or medicine or protect you, there's no such thing yet known to science. So uh, it's a scam. What else have we got? Emails saying that you can get a refund on your taxes as a result of losing your income. Uh, through coronavirus, well, we all know there's the old um, inland revenue, we're going to give you some money scam and they ask for your bank account details and if you're foolish enough to give them across. Another scam is that uh, people will say, oh, we're calling you from your bank and because of coronavirus, your bank's about to collapse, but we can move your money to a safe place, but you've got to urgently give us your details. Don't be foolish enough to hand those details over. I'm a bit amazed there are people who fall for these scams, but there are people who fall for them. If you're one of those people using your heart and your trust more than your brains, then be a little bit more careful unless you want to get burnt by corona in yet another way. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of fake products available already that you can buy online. They say will protect you from coronavirus, so... Same as one where they're knocking on your door, ringing you up, they're offering you a medicine that will protect you, no such thing. There are new mobile phone applications that claim to give you updates on the virus, but instead they lock your phone and demand a ransom to unlock your phone. So there's people out there doing some nasty things. Um, people, just look after yourselves. And just remember that, um, you know, people from your bank or people from the police or medical professionals will never ring you up and ask for your details, your bank details, okay? So that's me signing over and out for now. I hope that was helpful for you. Goodbye, everyone. See you again soon.